So we learned in class today that for a closed system, that is a system without any external forces, the motion of the center of mass does not change. This is because from Newton's second law, F net equals mass times acceleration, and if there are no forces, or the sum of the forces is zero on the system, then the uh, acceleration must be also be zero. So if you have a system composed of, say, two objects, and there are no external forces, then the center of mass representing those two objects will, if those two objects are not moving, that center of mass will not be moving. And if those two objects were moving with constant velocity, then the center of mass will still move at constant velocity. So how do you calculate the center of mass? Well, we know intuitively that the center of mass is more or less like the balance point. So suppose you have two masses of equal, equal mass, m, and we want to know the center of mass of this. And say mass 1 is at position 1, and mass 2 is at, say, position 7. Well, we know kind of the balance point, the center mass will have to be right in the middle at 4, okay? So the center mass is at the balance point. Or the average of the distances. So we take the first mass, multiply it by the distance, which is 1, plus the second mass, multiply by its distance, and then we divide by the total mass. This will be the average, dis the, or the average distance, or what we call the center of mass. This would be which is 4, what we've thought before. So the full equation for the center of mass looks complicated, but it really isn't. It's just an average of all the masses times all the distances divided by the total mass. So, for instance, the, along the x-coordinate, the x-center of mass, you take mass 1 times its position 1, plus mass 2 times its position 2 plus all the any other masses and then divide by the total mass. This can be written um, more neatly using the summation sign. We sum the masses from say i equals 1 to n mass i times position i over the total mass. And it turns out this same formula to get the other coordinates, the x, co the y coordinate, and the z coordinate, it's basically the same formula. But replacing x with y, and likewise for the z,
So really, these are the only formulas you need to find the center of mass. So let's do an example. Suppose you have three squares of equal mass. They both, they each have a side A, and squares one and two are stacked on top of each other. So to find the x center of mass, so this will be the x coordinate, that will be the y, the x center of mass, we take the first block, mass of one, which is mass m, times its x coordinate. Well, it's positioned right between a and 2a, so its coordinate is 3 halves a, or 1.5a. The second block is up is at the same position, right? It's in between a and 2a, so it has the same value, 3 halves a. And then the third block is also the same mass times the position. Now the position is in between 2a and 3a, so it's going to be at 5 halves a. And then we divide by the total mass. The total mass of the system is 3m. So if we do this out, we have, take out m and a, we have 3 halves plus 3 halves plus 5 halves divided by 3m. These m's cancel, and we have a divided by 3. 3 halves plus 3 halves is just 3 plus 5 over 2, which is then a over 3. 3 is 6 over 2, so 6 over 2 plus 5 over 2, and we get, we get a over 3, 11 over 2, which is 11 over 6a. For the y coordinate center mass, we have the, it's the same idea. The y center mass is going to equal mass of block 1 times its y position, which is 3 halves a, plus the mass of block 2 times its y position, which is 1 half a, plus the mass of block 3 times its y position, 1 half a, all divided by 3 m again. So taking out m and a, dividing by 3 m, which cancel, and then we have 3 halves, we have 3 halves plus 1 half, which is 2, plus 1 half, so a over 3, 5 over 2, equals 5, 6a. Now there's a more clever way to do this. If we look at the three block system, recognize it as equivalent to the three block system is equivalent to a four block system minus with the four with the corner block removed. So the three block system has a corner removed and if we could find the center of mass of the four block system and subtract it from the center mass of that one block corner, then we can get the center mass of the three block. So let the three block system be say one, four blocks is two, and the th uh, the corner block is 3. Remember, the definition of a center of mass is all the mass is concentrated in one place. So the center of mass of the 3-block system would be 
3m, if we multiply by its center of mass, the one we're trying to find, it should be equivalent to 4m times the center of mass of the 4-block system. Well, the center of um, mass of the 4-block system is right in the center, right? And that position is right at 2a. So this will be times 2a. And then we want to minus the center of mass of the 1-block system, which is just one mass. And the center of mass of the 1-block system is right here. Its position, if you go back to the, uh, the picture, is at 5 halves a. So if we do this out, we're trying to solve for the center mass of the 3 block system, this one. So if we do this out, we have 3m xcm equals 8ma minus 5 halves ma and 8 minus 5 halves is equivalent to 16 halves minus 5 halves times ma which is equal to 16 minus 5 is 11 over 2 ma over here was 3 m x c m the m's cancel and you're left with x c m divide through by 3 you have 11 6 a which is what we got before so again this is an alternative way of finding the the uh, center of mass you take a four block system take remove a corner and you should get the three block system this is very relevant to one of your homework problems i think the first homework problem where you're trying to find the center of mass of a box with its lid removed we could find the center of mass of all the sides and get the coordinate or we can we know that the center of mass of a block of a box with its lid on is right at the center we use that center of mass and just subtract out the center of mass of the lid and that should give the center mass of the open box. Okay, I hope that helps.